this whole album was created in the span of two weeks. It was created during class time and during work time. It is the essence of shenanigans. So Sorry, Do you like waffles? Yeah, I like waffles. Do you like pancakes? Yeah, I like pancakes. Do you like French toast? Yeah, I like French toast. Do, 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 can't wait to get a mouthful. Hi, I'm Carl. Welcome to Mountain Ridge. I'm Zach, I'm Zach, by the way, just for everyone out there. Yeah, um... The year is 2010. The date is March 20-something. And um, we're juniors right now. I don't know, we're just, this is our way of leaving our space in time forever. So if you're like forever. five years later and you're like, who's Zach and Cara? And Nardone's not here, then you won't know who Nardone is. But if she is, you should ask her. And we're like a legend. Pretty much. Maybe. I hope so. <laughs> well, we'll I don't see. know. We'll see. I don't know. We're just recording stuff right now, so I don't know. Just shut up, Zach and Carl. <laughs> mm, that wasn't very nice. <laughs> I want to be the very best like no one ever was. To catch them is my real test. To train them is my cause. I will travel across the land, searching far and wide. Each Pokemon to understand the power that's inside. It's you and me. I know it's my destiny. Oh, you're my best friend in a world we must defend. Pokemon. Our hearts so true. Our courage will pull us through. You teach me and I'll teach you Pokemon. Gotta catch them all. Yeah. Pokemon. Young love, it ain't the best of. Old love, it ain't the best of either. The one that you want. The one that you need I'm talking about middle age loving Yeah Talking about middle age loving Yeah Talking about middle age Middle age Middle age loving Yeah So you think you found your love Well you ain't actually found no love Till you're middle age Yeah and now you think you found it when you're young. Think again. It don't mean a thing till you're middle-aged. It don't mean a thing when you're old. It just is gross for people to look at when you kiss. So that's why you ought to be middle-aged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Significant love in the middle-aged. I like it when I'm middle-aged loving, middle-aged loving, loving. Talking about middle-aged loving. Talking about middle-aged loving. Talking about middle-aged loving. That's where it's at. That's where it is at. And if you ain't got nothing else, don't even try Cause you ain't got nothing else but that middle age loving Loving, 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 middle age, middle age And you don't know, don't Middle age loving Do you want to make
make up your participation points you can. If you're not an excused absence, you don't get points for the day. Everybody clear on that? Okay. Not going out of my way to make anything difficult. Just throwing that out. There we go. Cool? Good? All right. We are undoubtedly going to be working in small groups for the end project because I don't want um, this to be a project that's just somebody has two lines. I hate, I hate that type of project in class because it doesn't help you grow as an actor. So what I did the last time we divided up advanced theater this way is I let people do some requests in their group. We'll probably do slightly larger groups of about seven people each um, so that we can do at least four half hour long shows because if we did four half hour long shows you're still talking about two, two and a half hour performance by the time we do scene changes and everything. Okay? So, in just a minute, and you can think for a minute, I'm going to ask you to write a list of people you might request to work with. I usually try and pair you with at least one person on your list. Okay? Maybe more. Um, the other thing that will happen with that as we have days the next couple days is that I will give you guys a chance to look for some, some shows yourself. And you may actually get to pick and drive the show that you pick to an extent. I mean, it still has to be school appropriate. You'll be given a budget to work with. It's actually a really pretty cool project, and I've done it once before, and they have really good success with it. They produce some really amazing shows that I thought were good culminating experiences of their three and four years here. So um, it's something we've done before. I think you'll like it. But if we're going to do that, then by the end of Thursday, you guys need to have some ideas of what shows you might like to do with your seven people. So we're going to do three presentations tomorrow. And then I will also let you know who your groups are tomorrow so you guys can do a little bit of looking for your shows because I'll have to order them and get them here by next week so you guys can start working with them. Does that kind of make sense to everybody? Yeah. Yes? Okay, Lawrence. Um, are we talking like one act? Should we be looking for? Something that's no longer than 40 minutes. No longer than 40 minutes. Okay? I want to do the whiz. You can put down as many as you want. People that we want to work with? That you would like to work with. That you think it would be a good experience to work with. Can we do the quiz? Carrie. Um, we have our groups and like we picked out our script and everything. Does everyone in our group have to be acting or do you want like a director? I would like everyone in your group to be acting. Okay, though then there will be other responsibilities that you have. And the way I did this last time was really a pretty cool project because you really had to think about what you were using and how you were using it in your show. I don't want to send this out there that this is like a big math project, but you get a budget. And then anything you rent from our department, like you want to use a couch, that has a cost associated to it. It's fake theoretical money. And then you get a little bit of a real budget, which we'll talk about later too. So it's kind of kind of like actually having to put on your own show from scratch without someone else with the checkbook, if that makes sense. Word. It's kind of a cool project. What? I didn't take them. I didn't take them. I didn't take them. I didn't take them. One day I was walking home down the street, then I heard my sister say, Yo, Elmer, you're dead meat. I didn't know what to do, so I ran, then my sister got all crazy and got real, real mad. I began to lose control, and then I tripped. Boy, I knew I was in for it. My sister came over, and I got real scared, but my close fan friend Iris came and saved my hair. I didn't take them. I didn't take them. I didn't take them. I didn't take them. We went to the flower painters who didn't have a clue. They thought I had taken them too. We thunk for a moment, then got an idea. Iris could find them quicker than a cheetah. But something came up, and I spoke about a dad. Everyone stared, I knew I spoken out of hand. I didn't take them. I didn't take them. I didn't take them. I didn't take them. I had an idea that I proclaimed. I thought that we should all go play in the rain. We ran real fast up that hill, but we were stopped by a geezer who got all up in our grills. He asked us some questions and I soon fell asleep. When I woke up, boy was I beat. I didn't take them. I didn't take them. I didn't take them. I didn't take them. We were walking when I heard my mama say, What have you been doing all of the day? She yelled at my sis and then she yelled at me. I've had enough, now she's been number three. I didn't take them. I didn't take them. I didn't take them. I didn't take them. 
Some crazy men came down the road. I got real excited, but was soon slighted. They blamed me for the spots. I couldn't believe it. They were both super whack and couldn't conceive it. I didn't take them. I didn't take them. I didn't take them. I didn't take them. After Iris left for her crib, we went to see the spot maker. She made a mistake and felt as stupid as those thunder makers. I knew I didn't take them and now I got proof. That's the end of my story and the rest goes poof. I didn't take them. I didn't take them. I didn't take them. I didn't take them. Word. Within the hallways of Mountain Ridge, a growing dilemma unleashes its horror amongst our campus. Students can hardly find room to breathe. Pairs dominate the school's passageways, leading to ultimate knowledge and learning. And roadblocks continuously deny kids the right to move. What is the sole cause of so many being sent to the torturous chambers of sweep? Well, it can only be identified as one thing. Crowding in the hallways. Please, do your peers a favor and keep the hallways clean by mingling along the walls, traveling on the right side of the hallways, and please try to avoid stepping in front of stairways and doorways. I'm a robot. He's a robot. I'm a robot. He's a robot. I'm a pig. He's a pig. He's I'm a, a pig. pig. He's a pig. I'm a pig. He's a pig. Oink. Oink 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 moo 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 milk oink moo moo milk milk moo milk ba bow ow ba 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 ra ta 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 ba ta ta ink ink oink oink ba da 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 ba blah blah hippopotamus Hippopotamus. Bottom. 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 Hippopotamus. Bottom. 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 Hippopotamus. Run, 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 cow. 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 Yeah, well, I can jump really far. Insane in the membrane. Insane in the brain. Insane in the membrane. He's insane, got no brain. Insane in the membrane. Insane in the brain. Zip is gonna tail, zip is gonna tail. Look at my kitty, he has a tail. Zip is gonna know, zip is gonna know. He knows how to use his little nose. Zip is so fat, he likes to go meow. Zip is so fat, he's got a nose. Zip is gonna tail, zip is gonna tail. Look at my kitty, he has a tail. So long, farewell, I'll be the saying adieu to you, and you, and you, and you, and you, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Alright, thank you guys for listening to our first album. It's um, pretty it's, bomb. It's legit. That's what it is. It's legit. Mm. We, we appreciate it greatly. I, I don't think this will lead to anything. I don't think we'll be famous, but you know, it's fun. You never fun. know. You never know. Just thank you for listening and uh, have a good life, you know. Amen. Amen, brother. Goodbye.